subscribe to mark tutorial youtube channel and press this bell icon so you can stay updated with latest videos hello friends today in this video we will discuss about dms expert today we are going to tell you that how dms expert is helpful in expanding or in growing your business now suppose most of the businessmen face problems to view exact or proper data to analyze the business growth and also have to view the business related problems like sale purchase inventory etc like if we talk about suppliers retailers or about cnf for example departmental store retail store chemist etc so they also get problems to view the reports so to get rid of all these problems there is a solution dms expert which will take your business to the new way so now let's meet deepak deepak have four branch offices in delhi and they are worried because of their sale purchase of their different branches and about their inventory report because deepak's manager had to spend most of the time in synchronizing the data of different branches and in consolidating along with it to view the zone wise city wise state wise purchases or sales report of the operators which are working in different branches deepak has to visit in different branches again and again which is very challenging time consuming and hectic and along with it these reports are manual due to which mismatch of the data gets increases and data does not get properly analyzed as well as it is not easy to recognize that what is the status of purchase sale and inventory of which branch due to which they are not able to make the strategy that what kind of action you want to take in which branch and most of the businessman face this kind of problem as like deepak due to which it affects in business growth and it can be painful for any of the businessman so if you want to get rid from this problem then you can use the dms expert panel of mark erp and can increase the growth of your business so now let us know what is dms expert panel dms expert panel basically is the panel where we sync the data of the different locations of the mark software to the dms expert panel and then you can view the reports of multiple branches from anywhere through dms expert panel and due to which your much time will be saved because there will be no need to travel in different branches again and again and along with it you can view sale purchase and inventory in the form of report through the mark software in dms expert suppose there are multiple branches of a head office the owner or manager wants to view all the transactions like purchase or sales summary of all the operators working in different branches so the owner or manager can view such transactions zone state city or branch wise through dms export and you can sync the data with many ways in dms export like in dms export you can sync the data on the base of license and you can sync this data with two ways like If there are multiple branches of any of the company and only one license is used in multiple location then you can sync the data of multiple users with just one license and in this way only if there are multiple licenses in any corporate then you can sync their data as well and along with it if there is just one shop and there is only one license then as well DMS export is beneficial Apart from it if we talk about channel sales then there are distributors in channel sales modern trade horeca trade or they are super stockist so now suppose if corporate wants to club the data of all locations at one place then they can use dms expert panel for that if there is any watch store other than this and there are watches of different brands in it and if you want to view the summary of any particular branch from all that then you can view that as well through dms export panel so now let's see those setting in mark software which we have to do before syncing the data on dms export panel but before that you will take care of this thing that whenever we do the process of syncing the data in any branch or any corporate then we give authority to the supervisor to do the settings in mark software for which you will go to masters then to password and pars then go to update operator pars then select the supervisor and search sync and do yes to the corporate branch data sync option then save the changes after this go to masters then to mark setup then go to control room and search sync 
Now as here is my data sync unique key and this key gets auto generated from Mark software and we have to keep it as it is. We don't have to do any changes because data gets distributed from the key which is here. But if UID is same in any branch and in any corporate, UID is same in branch and corporate only when if you use the backup of corporate in the branch as well. And when UID is same, then in that case data will not be synced because that particular branch will not be detected. So that's why UID should be different of both. Then is corporate collaboration for all data means when do you want to sync the data daily, monthly or weekly and you can select the particular day in weekly that on which particular day you want to sync the data. So as we want to we are doing it live so that whenever data gets synced then it will be uploaded on DMS expert panel. Next is company key data sync key. Now when we create company on BSS panel then their company gets auto generated. So enter the key here of that company which gets generated there. Like if you will come to BSS panel and adds the new company. Then fill the company details and then submit. Then the username, password and mark key will be automatically sent on the registered email ID to the client. And the key which is received on mail to the user. Enter that key here in company key. And we will take care of this thing that this company E is of 36 digits and this data is of sync unique key 32 digits. Means these both keys are totally different. After this in store ID you can mention according to you. We have mentioned here corporate to identify the corporate. Then in store category code you can enter the category code according to you. And basically we use it to transfer mark to mark item, rate and for MRP. Or if there is the same license with corporate and branch then in that case as well we use store category code. After this select the store type and we use this option to define branch and head office in DMS expert panel. That are we syncing the data of branch office or of the head office. Select 1 for branch office and select 2 for head office. So now we will select 1 and then do yes to set refresh all masters on refresh option. We will do yes to it here because when you are syncing the data and if then internet is not available to you but whenever internet will be available later on and as you will refresh then data will be synced on DMS expert panel. And you will take care of this thing that if you will refresh the master or transaction then we use corporate collaboration option and in multi company use the corporate data sync option. And along with it take care of this thing that if there are settings of multi company then settings of single company will not work and similarly if settings of single company is done then settings of multi company will not work. After this save the changes by pressing escape key. So in this way after doing the setting in control room the data of all of the number of companies available in the mark will be synced in DMS expert panel like masters, transactions etc. But sometimes what happen is data gets synced but it does not get reflected on panel and it happens when either network congestion going on or internet is not available. But later on whenever internet is available to you then you can go to masters then to corporate data sync. Now as if you want to refresh the masters then select the refresh masters to refresh the transactions. So as we will press enter key on refresh transactions then software will ask you that from which date till which date data is not shown in the panel. Then mention that date here and press enter key on it. So here it will be shown to you refreshed branch masters transaction for upload. So in this way we have seen that how will you do the settings for data syncing. And after the settings the data of the all of the number of companies which are available in mark will be synced on DMS expert panel like masters transactions etc. All these will be synced on DMS expert panel. After this we will see that suppose if there are multiple branches of any corporate and we have to sync the data of any single company then how we will do it. For this go to masters then to control room search sync then now go to corporate collaboration for all data and then select stop. And along with it we will take care of this thing that we will not enter here sync key and store id. After this do yes to corporate collaborations for multi company distributors. Then save the changes and now when you will go to masters then you will see an option of corporate collaborations is enabled. We will click on it and then press F2 key. 
and then create new corporate like enter the company name enter the data sync key of 36 digits which is received to the client on their mail id then the store id which you want enter here and then select live and scheduler or remain yes to the rest of the options and you will see company is ready and now press enter key on this and select company selection option and now select that company from the space bar of which data you want to sync then suppose select e merk private limited then press escape key after this setup suppose if data doesn't get synced because as we have told you that sometimes due to network congestion or not availability of internet data doesn't get synced then you can select the company again press enter key and refresh the transactions or masters from here Along with it you will open server.exe then press F10 key and do yes here to corporate branch data sync and along with it specify that in how much time interval data should be synced and now keep pressing enter and come out from this window and now you can see data is getting synced so in this way you can sync the data of single company from corporate collaborations and you can sync the data of all companies from corporate data sync And now as you know that after data syncing it will come on DMS export panel. Now as if you want to see the demo of DMS export panel, firstly then you will click on demo registration, then enter email ID and contact number, then click on send OTP. After this user will receive OTP on his her mobile and they will enter that OTP here and do submit it. After submitting user will receive this kind of link on their email. click on this and then enter the password and confirm password and then do submit and now user can see the demo of dms export panel here after this we will come to the login screen of dms export panel and then registered email id and password which is received on client's email id enter it and login here so in this way dashboard will open and remember this thing that dms export panel is only reporting panel here you can view only reports And to discuss further you will take care of this thing that when data after syncing comes to the DMS export panel then it is necessary for you to cross verify the data firstly for which you will go to branch wise data count then you will see how many records are there of which group like there are 11 records of accounts group 67 records of discount 148 of general ledger 140 of products etc So you will take care of this thing that these records should be matched with the records of mark. If you take much time in data syncing in first time that record is mismatched, then you can clear the data instantly and upload it again. But if you will work for 10 days and data is not mismatched, then data will be shown mismatched and there will be no consistency in reports. So now as you will go to masters then master statistics in mark software then you will see it is showing you in count that there are total 11 record of account group 148 records of ledgers 140 of products and along with it it will show you in right side that which records are in which group like you will see the 140 records which are in products are all shown here so in this way it will show you that how many total records are of which group So if we will come again to the panel then you can see here also that the number of records are shown here which you have seen in mark software it is shown total number of records are 11 of accounts group and similarly records of the products are 140 so in this way firstly you can cross verify the data of the panel from the software apart from it if you want then you can match these records from the sql query but for this knowledge about sql is required So we will get back to DMS export panel and now as we can see here dashboard is now open and if you will come to the top right corner so here you will get the icon of user guideline on which you will click and can read the guidelines of DMS export after this you can analyze the sales on dashboard here firstly you will select that of which period you want to analyze the sales like we will select the previous quarter then click on get report So here it will be shown to you that how many total parties are in top 5 branches and in those branches how much sale is done on the behalf of gross amount and along with it you can view top 10 products and top 10 retailer wise sales as well 
In this way only, you can analyze the particular purchase that how many total parties in top five branches are there in particular period, and in those branches, how many total purchases are done on behalf of gross amount. The next is stock. You can analyze the stock from here. Now, as there are different types of rates in Mark software, like rate A, rate B, rate C, purchase rate, cost rate, and MRP. So you can select from here that on which basis you want to analyze the stock. So suppose we will select the rate B and click on Get Report. So now you can analyze the stock. After this is Sales versus Purchase Analysis. So firstly we will select that of which period you want to analyze the sale versus purchase. Then click on Get Report button. So now you can analyze here total sale versus total purchase. If you want to see the sale, then simply you will take your mouse. to the dots on orange line then you can view the sale and if you want to view the purchase then take the mouse to the dots on green line so you can view the purchase along with it you can select that do you want to view this report gross amount wise or net amount after this you will go to master then to company then you will see the data which we have synced of the companies is listed here and along with it you will take care of this thing that if you will create the corporate at the time of company creation or create the branch then branch code gets auto generated here to which you can change according to you so the branch code which is mentioned here will come to the branch code here along with it you will take care of this thing that at the time of company creation firstly you have to decide that on which working style you want to do the billing if you have started the transaction once then in between you cannot change the working style because if you will change then you will not get proper data consistency now come again to master then you will see here first option is zone and you can create the zone here simply you will enter the zone name here and submit it as you will submit zone will be shown here if you want then you can edit the particular zone as well and can delete too next is state select the zone before creating the state that the state which you are creating is in which zone So suppose we will select north then enter the state name Punjab and do submit. As you will submit state will be shown here. If you want then you can edit the particular state as well and can delete too. After this you will create city. For this firstly you will select the zone then select the state and then enter that city name at which location distributor is located. Then submit. After this when you will come to the company and you will do edit then you have to select here that which is the zone state and city of this particular company then you will map all these details then submit and along with it you can see here it is shown that from which uid data has synced and along with it you will take care of this thing that you cannot delete the corporate uid like suppose if you have the single branch and suppose clients are exchanging the backup in it means they are restoring the backup from one system to another then in that case uid of company get changes and along with it the uid of whichever company will be changed data will be synced of it that number of times and the company of whose uid is changing will be shown here then you can delete here after seeing it and in case if uid is same of corporate and branch then you will match this uid with the uid generated in the mark software and suppose if this is not that uid then you can generate another uid to sync the data then is user means if suppose you have 100 branches and in that there are 20 sales representatives from them in which you have divided particular distributor to each representative so now you can create user for these sales representatives along with it you can specify that which menu or which branch you want to allot to them So now we will enter username here, email ID and password and then we will submit. The user which you create will be displayed to you in right side. You can enable or disable the status for a particular user. Now we will allot the menu after creating the user for whom you will go to master then to user menu allotment. Then select the user. And now you will select here like which menu you want to allot for this user from master. Similarly whichever menu you want to allot from outstanding purchase sales so you can do from these according to you then is branch allotment firstly you will select the user then select that to which user you want to allot which branch 
Next is upload company image. You will click here on select files and select your company logo and upload it. After this come to outstanding menu and now as here is an option branch wise outstanding. So firstly select the branch of which you want to view the outstanding then click on get report. So here outstanding of the particular branch will be shown to you. If you want then you can click on export to excel and can export it in excel. After this go to purchase menu and here is first option product wise purchase analysis and through this option you can analyze purchase product wise. Then firstly we will select the branch of which you want to do the purchase analyze. Then we will select that we want to see gross wise or amount discount wise. Then select that do you want to view with chalan or without chalan. Then select the period and then click on get report. Then product wise purchase report will be shown to you here. In this way you can view branch company wise purchase and branch year and month wise purchase as well. Then is purchase invoice register and you can analyze purchase invoice. So firstly we will select branch then we will select that do you want to view with chalan or without chalan. Then select the bill discount that do you want to see without discount or with discount. Then select the period previous quarter and then click on get report. So in this way purchase invoice report will be generated. If you would like to then you can apply the filter as well. Now as we want the record should be shown of item code 3352 only then suppose we will select here starts with then enter the value 3352 and filter. So you can see record is filtered on the basis of item code. And if you want to remove the filter then we will click on clear. After this you will see many columns are shown to you in the table but if you want that only specific columns should be shown to you means if you only want to see only few fields then simply click on this arrow then whichever fields or column you want to keep in the table then you will click on that. So as we want the fields we have selected here after this enter the name in create favorite and save it. So in this way the fields you want to keep in the table select them and you can add it in favorite and to whichever you create the favorite it will be shown to you in my favorite. Now as if we want to see the purchase invoice table which we have added in favorite we will select it so you can see the fields which we have selected are the only fields shown to you here. So in this way you can select different fields and can add them in favorite. After this next menu is sales and you can view different sale reports along with it you will get the option here sales invoice register. You can view the sales invoice register report as like we have seen purchase invoice register. Simply you will select here branch then select the chalan that do you want to see report with chalan or without chalan. Then select the bill discount. Then select the period and click on get report. Then sales invoice register report will be generated. And along with it if you want then you can add particular fields in favorite as per your requirement. Along with it you get the filter option here as well from where you can filter the column according to you. As you will click on filter button then three fields will be shown to you here like filter column, fast moving and slow moving. So firstly select the filter column like we will select quantity. Then you can select from here that you want to filter on the basis of fast moving or on the basis of slow moving. Now suppose if we select fast moving then you will select here that do you want to see top 5 quantity or top 10. Then you will select from here according to you. Suppose we will select top 5. So in this way on the basis of top 5 report will be filtered. Then next menu is stock like you can see the branch wise stock status from here. So firstly you will select the branch then select the rate that on which basis of rate you want to see and click on get report. So in this way stock status report will be generated. Then next option is product expiry report and you can view the product expiry report from here. And you can view the aging wise report in product expiry report. Simply you will select the branch then select that you want to see report product wise or batch wise and then click on get report. So in this way product expiry report will be generated. Then is stock movement report and you will select the report type from here that do you want to view the report product wise or distributor wise. Then select the branch of which branch you want to view the report. Then select the company. Then if you want to see multi unit as well in stock movement report then you will click here on multi unit and then click on get report. 
so stock movement report will be generated and you can view the consolidated report from opening to closing and along with it you will take care that multi unit opening and multi unit closing will also be shown to you in this report after this next menu is financial report and you can view company wise summary from here simply select the period then click on get report so in this way company wise summary will be generated after this you will go to mis report then you can view sales and purchase summary simply select the branch select the type then select the period and click on get report so in this way you can view sales and purchase summary then we will come to data process now as here is the first option data sync history here it will be shown to you that which company's data was exported on which date and at what time how many days before data got synced and what is the syncing time and date after this is branch wise product mapping now what happens is that product name gets mismatched in corporate or branch like the product in corporate is azmin maybe it is spelled as a z m i n and that same product is spelled with azmin in branch so in this case we will do the product mapping For this select branch firstly then select that on what basis you want to do the mapping so suppose we will select all matched and unmatched now suppose if you want to map any product here suppose we want to map depicor sr20t with conquer 510t then click on that product which you want to map then search product to which you want to map and then press enter So in this way you will map this product and take care of one thing that color of that product will change which we will map and now click on submit after mapping after this next option is discrepancy report here you can see that how many duplicate products and unique products in branch office or in corporate like we select duplicate so the number of duplicate products will come up and if we select unique then all of the unique products will be shown After this if you want then you can change the password for this simply you will enter the current password and then enter the new password and confirm the new password again then do submit so friends we have seen the detailed demo of dms expert panel thank you